Good morning, YouTube. It is Amy, Keto Maniac. This is what I woke up to this morning. Yucky. <laughs> and even my sweet husband, who normally loves cold weather, is not so much loving it because, of course, it makes everything hurt. So we are on our way to physical therapy. I'm off today. I'm kind of glad because I do not want to have to drive in this, but tomorrow's not going to be fun either. In Oklahoma, the way it works is it snows. It warms up. It's already, it was at 34 a few minutes ago, so during the day it's going to be nice. Everything's going to melt, and overnight it's going to freeze, and all of it's going to be ice. Crackling ice. So tomorrow's drive-in will suck. That's just how life is. So I thought I would tell you guys my revelation from yesterday. Um, I watched one of the guys that I have on YouTube um, a subscription for, and he was talking about what that you eat and drink that breaks your fast. And he got to the milk slash cream that I put into my coffee every morning. And he mentioned that yes, that does break your fast. And so yesterday and today, I have adjusted my Bulletproof coffee. I took the cream out and I added Splenda instead. And yesterday at one o'clock, in the afternoon I realized that I hadn't had lunch yet because I wasn't hungry and I had a lot of energy like I used to when I had bulletproof coffee and since and I guess I just really didn't notice that since I've been using the cream um, the heavy whipping cream that I haven't had that exhilaration that I normally have on bulletproof coffee so I'm hoping fingers crossed that this adjustment to my process will um, jumpstart me energy-wise. You know, I mean, obviously I'm always looking for ways to tweak, to, to lose weight and, you know, stay on ketosis and all that. But this is the first thing that I've done recently that's really felt impactful. So it's funny how something as small as two tablespoons of um, heavy whipping cream could have such an effect maybe. So that's the plan. I'm going to do that and see where we go from there. I am in the drive-thru and we are getting my husband smokes and maybe me a diet A&W root beer for later. I need a bottle of diet A&W root beer and a uh, monster import. He has, he's found this new thing and the import is the one that doesn't have as much of the chemicals in it. And so um, he really likes it, but it's new enough that when he tries to get it from the register, sometimes the people look at him like he's crazy, at least from the drive-thru. And again, wasn't interested in going inside because, hmm. So hopefully she'll know what it is. Okay. So that's my big revelation for the day. Wish me luck. Hopefully that's exactly what I need to remind my body what it's like to be in ketosis and have the intermittent fasting work for me. I feel like we got it. All right. Talk to you later. Run. Robert says I should run from this half polar bear, half um, grizzly. grizzly bear. They're the most dangerous bears in the world. Super scary. There he is. Hardy horror. Really and truly enough said. At some point, I am going to have to take Daisy for a walk, so that's going to have to happen, as it's still snowing. <sighs> Yay, being a pet owner. So we're out for our walk, and this is my Daisy. Come on. She does not want to go at all. She is like, no, thank you. Come on, Daisy. You got to go potty. She's like, but it's cold. Are you going to get up there? Are you gonna, no? <laughs> Where are you gonna poop? You gotta poop somewhere. She's like, this sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. <laughs> look at her, look at her. She is like, this is not okay. Oh, I know, I feel the same way, honey. 
she's shaking. Join the club, little one. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in agreement that this is not for us. <laughs>